while the track's cool, it's a bit of an advantage. You know, I was talking to Nick Harrison as we take a look at Ryan Sieg. Nick Harrison's crew chief for Austin Dillon, that 33 car, and he said they really want to get a time in early because they would rather their of pressure in them and they like for that pressure to be there naturally they don't want to, like you said let some air out of the tire to get it right so uh, this is a bit of a disadvantage for these guys that haven't made it through inspection i believe twofold track's going to just continue to heat up like i said and they won't have as much time to prepare for round two because there's a certain place where they want these tires when they complete their lap there's a certain there's a certain air pressure and and how they get by doing that is they start out at a certain number because they know it's going to build that much and again they don't want to let it down or let it down manually they do cars that can win the race so it's hard to be inside that top 24 and then in this series there's there's 16 or so so making that final round that final 12 is what's really important what's going on with the six down there jamie well, I just talked to his crew chief, Chad Norris, and said, all right, what is your plan here for this second round? And he said, because we didn't make it through technical inspection early and we had to do our first run in the first round late, they need to let this car cool off. So they have to wait until two to three minutes to go before they hit the track. And that will be the same for the last session if they do make it. So they're feeling a little behind, even though they're at the top of the board right now. Wasn't well, that ironic? Yeah. We're, we're first and we're behind. <laughs> I worry about the residual impact. I feel confident they can get it where it needs to be for round two. But as Jamie pointed out, not a quick turnaround, only five minutes in round three. If you're able to advance, it's going to be tough to contend for the pole, you think. Yeah, I think we need to explain, too, when we talk about the year for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 52 laps in, under caution for the first time today. Ryan Sieg with some issues pushing the Uncle Bob storage car back to the garage area. He's had a solid run. He's always threatening to break into the top 10, running around the top 15 or so, but some issues with that car here today. How blessed are we with this weekend? It's Memorial Day weekend. We're here to honor the troops and say thank you. The weather's perfect. The cars are fast.